Okay, first day of takeover, uh, first day of takeover, this one is a BTO. So usual uh, we just let, let you take a look at the defects. The defects, a lot of defects. Uh. Uh, usually it's mostly aesthetic, like scratches, all this. Uh. This time round we are changing the vinyl, so we are not uh, so far asking them to repair. But I can feel significantly that they never do self leveling I can feel that some places are uh, sunken in, some places is uh, this one is sunken in. Oh, I can feel it. Then if you want to see, you can easily see. Oh, this part is bulging up. Oh, this one is bulging up, this part hollow. Go, I'm gonna, going down. Oh, so the floor uh, is not level. Floor is not level. So they say cost up, uh, they never do the same. For vinyl, you need to do self leveling. Then after that, then you do the vinyl so that it can be very very flat, very nice. Right? Well, this house are now is a red undulating one. Pardon the noise, uh, new BTO every day got noise. Right? Well, pardon the noise. Uh. Okay, so we are not doing the, the defects for the floor because we are doing new vinyl, new self leveling ourselves. We are also changing the layout of the door. As you, if, if you see this door, you may know. This one is a two-room video. Uh, once you see this door, usually you don't see it in uh, other setups in video. Two-room video. Then, uh, I, I tell you what, we are changing the door. Huh? The window is here, the sun comes in this way. So, with the, the door being there, the position of the bed is stuck here. Uh, the position of the bed is stuck here. So, be very close to the window. First thing is noise, the other thing is the sun. So another one, we want to change. So we want to change the door entrance to here. Change the door entrance to here. And from here to here, I feel a wall. I also want to push out the whole bedroom to make the bedroom bigger so that I can have a study here. I can have a study here. Uh, I bring a floor plan show you all. So we are now standing at the master. Oh, we want to build the wall flat out. Flat out already. Flat out already so that I can have the wardrobe, long wardrobe, and then a study. Oh, so I can shift also the bed further to the away from the window. Oh, away from the window. So this is the, the layout that we have. Some important points to take note uh, for home sweet reasons and also practical reasons. Some things we, we can't have. Uh. We are rank this first. Okay. Usually I will take a lot of notes. Uh. Just a two hours meeting I have a lot of notes. Uh. And I draw whatever I can draw. Different elevations, everything. Whatever we discuss. How come I can draw so fast the elevation uh, for the kitchen? It's also because I got not much day already. We go and talk about the limitations for this unit. Then we pan the camera angle up here, then you see this thing. Once you have this thing, you don't want to relocate or shift plus the space constraint. You got a lot of things you cannot change really. You also have this thing. What's this? Okay, this one is the downpipe for your water, for your sink, for your washing machine. No? Washing machine that is here. This inlet is for your sink. So with that, you are fixated more or less. Your sink is here already. Your washing machine is here. Then you know Feng Shui. Feng Shui always we want the sink to face the stove one. So if now I put my sink here, my stove has to be on the diagonal side, this side. Oh, stove here. Why I don't want to put the stove here? Because this is a fridge area. Oh, fridge area. This one is for the fridge. Fridge really, you don't want to cook next to the fridge because then very oily and you will spoil the whatever laminate or glass here. You want to step away. Then I only left this space for the sink. With so many design limitations and function requirements, uh, there's no way I can change the layout already. Remember, I always say fridge.
cannot be next to the wall. In this case, in this setup, I have no choice. I have a sliding door, sliding door come here, or sliding door. Then my fridge has to be here. I need to find a fridge that the door will open this way. So when I open up, this way is here, the door has to swing here. Why the door cannot swing here? If it swing here, it cannot pass 90 degree. Now when I hit the glass door, then after that, the drawer cannot go up. The fridge drawer cannot go up. So I must have a fridge that is swing this way. Swing this way. All these are, are very critical when buying items, when designing the house. You cannot anyhow buy one. If your designer don't take care of you, then you anyhow buy things. Huh? You're going to end up with things that don't work. Uh, you cannot put out a drawer. That means the fridge, huh? imagine, top tier is your, uh, what's that called? Ice maker, huh? that one you can use. Middle tier and bottom tier, you can use the middle. But you can't use the bottom, because bottom is drawer, you cannot put out. So you lost like one third of the space. Huh? You should change fridge, right? but change fridge is not cheap. Huh? Not cheap. Huh? Uh, so, Cannot, cannot any more buy. Huh? Okay, then if the sink is here, sink is here on top is this rack, right? On top is this rack. Then the door cannot open because the door will hit this. So I have to have sliding door on top. Sliding door for this side of the building. This side is still okay. This side can open. Oh, this side open, it doesn't hit this one. Then it will be quite dark. Huh? So we propose uh, this side must have. Light must have a light here under the cabinet because, as you see, uh, your light is only here, very dark on this area. Only here will be bright, uh. here is bright, here is dark. This one must think through. Uh. What's the right one? Oh, this one is dented. Eh? This one is dented. This one quite bad. Okay, some defects here. This one is big, huh? this one is a chip. Huh? Chip. Huh? And here also got a chip. Huh? Here also got a chip here. Huh? And where else? I don't remember already, but I saw a lot of stuff. Huh? But basically, it's like that. You want to be careful when you sign off with BSC. Uh. Cannot everything also sign off. Uh. For problem, must, must find out first. Uh. Then, as usual, uh, a lot of scratches. Uh. A lot of scratches. Okay, air compact. Air compact. I see two holes that they left for us. Face the bed on. Face the bed, you very cold. Oh, face the bed, you very cold. Okay, two aircon unit. So one more is at the living room. Then we go out to the living room. Follow the main height here. We must below the main height because water cannot flow up. Uh. 
water cannot flow out, so I will have a pipe one stretch of pipe here, go out to the living room. So I come out, I come out from here, and I have the air conditioning here. Where does the water flow back? Water flow back will be here. Go in, go in, then we punch through here. Punch through under the beam here. Punch through under the beam, that's where the water will flow. Water has to flow down, uh. so water cannot flow up. So always punch in is after the beam. Cannot go up. Uh. Uh, the gas, the refrigerant pipe can go up, but the water pipe for the drainage must come down with a gradient. Okay? That's the limitation for aircon. Go in here. I will be at this area. I will come down this corner, come down this corner, come here and drain here. Why I don't like to come to this shower area? I explained to you all. Huh? If you come down this area, what going to happen is that here you cannot install your glass shelf. Well, here the glass shelf you cannot install. Second thing, this is going to be a bathing area, shower area. Every day here will be wet. There will be algae here. They're very hard to clean or very hard to clean so I don't like to come down inside the shower my preference is always to come down where it's more drier this is a washing area for our hands it's going to be drier one so come down here go here easier to maintain next time Okay, if you realize the main difference between us uh, and other IDs is that we are the actual people on the ground, we are the actual pe people doing all the work, and we are really, really sought after. Because you cut away, you cut away the middleman. Oh, you cut away the middleman already. You're doing direct with the contractor himself. Okay, I'm a carpenter. I'm not just a contractor. I'm a carpenter. I'm a contractor. I'm an ID. I design every single thing. I draw, I plan, and I do all the technical drawings. Okay, but having said that, if you realize that uh, you've seen a lot of new houses, you've seen a lot of progress, you don't see a lot of handovers. Why? Uh, I'm like the surgeon. Uh, I'm going to where I'm needed critically, which is like the toweling stage, the aircon piping stage, the technical parts. All these, uh, you will see me more. But when handover, the house is almost finished. Uh, there's really no, no need for me to be there already. It's just a touching, uh, no final finish. But the sad part is that I, re I, I take a lot of energy and I draw a lot of energy from finishing a project. But because of how busy I am, I usually can't go and hand over the house. It's with my team handing over the house. So that's part, that part I miss a lot. Uh, I miss a lot. So if I got a chance, uh, I will take more handovers for you all. I'll take more handovers. Because you all see before, you all don't see after. Ma. You need to see the after. Before, after, before, after. Then, then fun. Sorry for the noise. Ah. Those that, uh, you know, uh, can't take it one. Ah. Don't, don't pick PTO. Ah. PTO is like that one. Renovation. Especially you first batch move in. Ah. You rush your renovation. Ah. Then you every day come in. Like that one. It's the same one. Renovation. I mean, uh, PTO is like that. Okay. I will leave you with that. I also need to go for my lunch. Then I go for the next appointment. And if you all like what you see, RSVP number, uh, I will repeat again, WhatsApp, don't call her, WhatsApp, WhatsApp, uh, 9007-3368, okay, I will see you again, bye-bye.